Good morning, and welcome to St. Mary's Daily Prayer. My name is Kevin DePass, and today is Wednesday, May 27th, 2020, the seventh week of Easter. Our readings today are taken from the Acts of the Apostles and the Gospel of John. And through them, we are reminded that the invitation to walk with Christ is open to everyone and never expires. Let us begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be God of all consolation, who has shown us great mercy. Blessed be God forever. Let us pray. Graciously grant to you, to your church, O merciful God, that gathered by the Holy Spirit, she may be devoted to you with all of her heart, and united in purity of intent. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. At Miletus, Paul spoke to the Presbyterians of the Church of Phaeacus. Keep watch over yourselves and over the whole flock, of which the Holy Spirit has appointed you overseers, in which you tend the church of God that he acquired with his own blood. I know that after my departure, savage wolves will come among you, and they will not spare the flock. And from your own group, men will come forward perverting the truth to draw the disciples away from them, so be vigilant, and remember for three years, night and day, I unceasingly admonished each of you with tears. And now I commend you to God, and to that gracious word of his that can build you up and give you the inheritance among all who are consecrated. I have never wanted anyone's silver or gold or clothing. You know well that these very hands have served my needs and my companions. In every way I have shown you that by hard work of that sort, we must help the weak. And keep in the mind the words of the Lord Jesus, who himself said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. When he had finished speaking, he knelt down and prayed with them all. They were all weeping loudly as they threw their arms around Paul and kissed him. For they were deeply distressed that he had said that they would never see his face again. Then they escorted him to the ship. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Show forth, O God, your power, the power, O God, with which you took our part. For your temple in Jerusalem, let the kings bring you gifts. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. You kingdoms of the earth, sing to God. Chant praise to the Lord who rides on the heights of the ancient heavens. Behold, his voice resounds, the voice of power. Confess the power of God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Over Israel is his majesty. His power is in the skies. Awesome in his sanctuary is God, the God of Israel. He gives power and strength to his people. Sing to God. O kingdoms of the earth. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Lifting up his eyes to the heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, Holy Father, keep them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one just 
as we are one. When I was with them, I protected them in your name that you gave me, and I guarded them, and none of them was lost except the son of destruction, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you. I speak this in the world so that they may share my joy completely. I gave them your word, and the world hated them because they did not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is the truth. As you sent me into the world, so I sent them into the world, and I consecrated myself for them, so that they also may, may be consecrated in the truth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us now bring our cares and concerns to our Heavenly Father. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For our call to stewardship, that we may use our gifts to benefit those who need our help, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to the pan pandemic, that God will guide and inspire all the scientists medical researchers working for a cure to curtail the virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are in any way burdened by this pandemic, that the sick, the unemployed, the lonely, and the frontline and essential workers may find comfort, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who need physical or spiritual healing, that God's gracious spirit will give their bodies and minds comfort and wholeness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those who have died, that they may be brought into the eternal peace of God's presence through Jesus, who is the resurrection and the life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray in confidence to the Father in the words the Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. God of mercy, we thank you for the gift of your Son and the road to redemption paid by his sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Lord bless you, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Go in peace.